What's up, folks? It's Mike from the Hardcover Comic, and let me tell you, it is a good time to be collecting omnibuses. We finally have our first volume of Batman by Grant Morrison. I'm so excited. One of my most anticipated releases of the year. I've been waiting so long for a set of omnis, and we're finally getting them. Take a look at the spine here. Classic Batman, yellow and black. On the back, we've got, of course, some praise for this epic, epic run. And then we've got the contents, um, Batman 655 through 658, 663 through 683, some stories from DC Universe, um, and I believe, yeah, there's two new pages by Chris Burnham recapping the events of the resurrection of Ra's al Ghul. So, let me get the dust jacket off and we'll dive in. Um, very simple, very plain design underneath the dust jacket, you've got sort of this white bat, um, and then you've sort of, like, uh, well, I won't get into it, anyway. Spine is the same, just in black and white. The back is the same as the front without the text. Um, so let's get into this thing. There's that Golden Age Batman as drawn by Tony Daniel now. It's Andy Kubert Batman. Um, so yeah, all the artwork is mostly done by Andy Kubert and um, Tony Daniel. Here's your table of contents. Very excited. This is, oh, I can't believe uh, we're finally getting these. I'm so excited. Um, so the story starts off, um, so these are the DC Universe stories. I've never read these, actually. Um, some bits and pieces from 52, which was that weekly series uh, Grant Morrison was involved with. Um, but essentially, the story starts off with the Batman and Son story arc, which is um, our introduction to Damian Wayne. Um... Uh, the, you know, the, the byproduct of Talia al Ghul and, um, and Bruce Wayne, of course. Um, stunning, stunning artwork by Andy Kubert. You get to see uh, a lot, a lot of cool stuff with Ninja Man Bats. Um, and of course, we, as I mentioned, do get introduced to Damian Wayne. Um, and I don't know how people are on our, you know, how they feel about Damian Wayne anymore, but um, I like him. He's, you know, he's a, he was a sassy kid when he started. He was a bratty kid. But um, I think he really shook up uh, Bruce's life in a in a fun way that was very different from you know the previous uh, the previous Robins. Um, but you know once we get out of this storyline, which has just some breathtaking artwork in it, this is some of Andy Kubert's best stuff. Um, once we get out of this storyline, um, we start getting involved with you know we have this prose issue here with uh, I believe it's the Joker. Um, so I think getting caught and uh, or maybe just him describing. It's, time in Arkham Asylum. Um, you know, we get into this Three Ghosts of Batman storyline, which is, um, there's basically these these three different variations of Batman. There's like a, a Bane-type character, which we see here. Um, there's another another one that sort of haunts his dreams. Um, and I don't want to give away too much because it does all sort of build up um, over the progress of Grant Morrison's run. Um, and then we've got the Fantastic Batman um, 666 issue, which is sort of a what's if, um, a what if issue for Damien becoming, Damien becoming Batman. Next up, we've got a uh, we've got the Black Glove arc, which essentially features a whole bunch of Batman-inspired vigilantes from across the planet, um, coming together as they do in Batman Inc. Eventually, um, and they basically go through this weird psychological. Um, an ambush. If you were, you've got Knight and Squire in there as well. Um, yeah, and we basically find out the Black Glove is this cult that's sort of determined to take down Batman and, and all his uh, associates. Um, next up, we've got, I believe, Resurrection of Ra's al Ghul, which is pretty self explanatory. It was a crossover story. They didn't include all the crossover issues here, um, so it's kind of frustrating in that regard, but whatever. You pretty much get through that story pretty quickly. And then we're on to Batman R.I.P., which is um, which is tremendous. It's tremendous. Um, Graham Morrison does a really cool job of breaking down the psychology of Batman as he goes through the Thogol experience, um, sort of living through different eras of the Batman. So here we've got like the Golden Age uh, Batman thinking about Joe Chill. Um, very, very, very cool stuff. We do, of course, see Nightwing and Tim show up. Um, yeah, very cool story arc. We see we get the Batman of Zero and R here, the Return of Joker. Um, it's a very, very, very cool read. Um, like I'm, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. if you've never read this run, you're in for a serious, serious treat. 
Um, I don't want to give away too much, but oh, it's just so smart. It's so well done. It's the ultimate Batman. We see more of the black glove. Um, just phenomenal, phenomenal stuff. I'm going to sort of jump ahead to the end here, show you guys the very little bonus content. It's just a, some variant covers, no scripts or anything exciting like that. Hopefully we'll see more in the next volume. Um, for those of you that are on the fence about the Final Crisis Omnibus, I believe where this book ends off, that one will sort of pick up as a spiritual successor, very mildly, if you guys don't know what happens, um, Darkseid and Batman get into it a bit, and of course we had the Dick Grayson era of Batman afterwards, um, which I believe will be volume two of the Omnibus series, um, including, you know, the return of Bruce Wayne and all that stuff should be very, very, very fun. Can't wait. Um, but yeah, thanks for tuning in, guys. If you have any questions about this, let me know. I know I've just been sort of rambling on. I just really want to get into reading this thing. Um, no offense. But uh, if you have any questions, let me know below. If you're excited for this, let me know. I'm very excited for this. We've got Seven Soldiers of Victory and the Final Crisis Omnibus, like I mentioned. A lot of Grant Morrison oversized Omnibus love coming from DC. So, um, thanks for tuning in, guys. This is Mike from the Hardcover Comic. As always, until next time, you stay classy, Internet.